Shalom. I'm going to begin this lesson by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Basim Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Kwadas, which in the ancient Hebrew tongue would be the correct names of the Heavenly Father, His beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit. I also would like to give double honors to my teachers, the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much due honors and respect to the sense of brethren out there that's also laboring in his work. And as always, I want to say shalom to the believers, you know, the Akim as well as the Akwaf, which will be you brothers along with the sisters that subscribe to this truth as well. So yeah, I just wanted to go into another quick lesson, you know, it's touching the true message, if you will, of the one you people out there ignorantly refer to as Jesus Christ, <laughs> which we know his true name to be Yahweh the Redeemer of the nation of Israel. And through that redemption will come power, power over the nation's rulership. And this is the message of the Bible and its veracity, which this idea has proven to be foreign, if you will, when presented mainly to those of you out there who claim to build your foundation off of the Holy Scriptures. Starting, obviously, <laughs> with Christianity, which when you consider Christianity, it pretty much contributes to the snares and pitfalls and traps that's laid out here in America, Babylon the Great, that city of confusion, which Christianity pretty much puts the sea <laughs> in confusion, seeing that it was set up in effort to keep you people in further derision and mainly to keep you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans further oppressed. And it doesn't stop with Christianity. That confusion is also on display throughout certain Israelite circles. You know, those of you out there who are content with being an Israelite in America, you're perfectly fine with the so-called white man ruling over you. Well, for those of you who subscribe to the Bible when presented in its purest form, you desire to reign over your enemies. And guess what? That's in harmony with the will of your how about some how was that? Matter of fact, let's start off right there. In the book of Luke, the 12th chapter, in the 32nd verse, it says, Fear not, little flock. Yeah, and this little flock right here will apply to us believers. The believers of our Lord, Yahweh, which translates to believing on the report, believing the doctrine. And there's a reason why the scriptures refer to us as a little flock. Well, for one, we will be small in number, especially in comparison to the nation of Israel as a whole. 